Hello everyone. I mean, this is going to seem a bit strange, really. And the more I think about it, the stranger it gets. Now, what we're going to try and make today is a banana and walnut cake. Now, we've thought about this for a, a, a day or two, but what happened the other day? I've got these bananas down here, look. And they, they were getting a little ripe. I mean, I'll eat them like that, but we have got plenty. So, one just said, how about we make some banana and walnut cake? And I thought... My God, mate, we shouldn't be eating all this stuff, but I could get my teeth into that. So we're going to have a go. Now, I think you ought to mention first, this is a, a tip we've got. Wendy's come up with, I think she's seen it on the internet somewhere. You know, just grease it and flour it. I think she's done it before, but I didn't know that. And that's the tin, the bakey tin. I bought that especially for the Kasori to bake cakes. It is actually called a, a, a cake tin. Um, and then the recipe I've got, you know, I don't know whether it's going to be any good. Do, uh, what do I know? We've just got to go with it, haven't we? But what we've got there is one and a half cups. Sorry if I move the camera out, that one not very good. We've got one and a half cups there of self-raising flour. We've got a little drop of milk there, not, not too much. I don't honestly know how much milk there is in there. Yeah, it's actually a quarter of a cup of milk, that is. That's a quarter cup. We're doing it in cups here, aren't we? I think people are going to wonder what a cup is. Well, we've got to go with it, really, haven't we? What else can we do? Um, right, so we've got three quarters of a cup of sugar. Uh, we'll have a teaspoon of the vanilla. Now, I've tried to weigh this out. 125 grams of unsalted butter. I don't know, what's, what is that? Yeah, one egg and some walnuts. Good idea to put walnuts in a walnut and banana cake, isn't it? So, first of all, <coughs> sorry, I'm losing my voice there. First of all, I'll sieve, sieve the flour, get some air into it and get any lumps out. So we'll do that. I can't do it. You know, we one hand, I'm struggling. So I'm afraid you'll have to take my word for it. I've done that. Oh, there's me, yeah. Uh... There's my butter and sugar and vanilla all creamed. Uh, next, in goes the banana. Set that in. Can you see that bowl? Yeah. I better mix it here, Anta, because otherwise you'll think I've got Wendy doing all the work. Wouldn't you? You know what I mean? I would do if I had the chance. Oh, she's been brilliant. She's sorted me out again. I can never find half the bits. You know, that's life, isn't it? Well, we'll get this mash together. I've got to say thank you to the subscribers. You know, we've got quite a few at the minute. It's, it's, I'm a bit surprised. It's gone really well. We've got about 500 subscribers now. So, I mean, that's great. And everybody who joins in, that's fantastic. Come up with ideas, it's great. Keep messaging me and, I mean, I think together, we're all learning a load, mate. This is all right. Hey, look, that's all right. I'll tell you what, we've got an electric mixer. I think I'm going to use that as well, get it proper mixed. Just give me a second and I'll come back to you. Right, there we go. I've got the mixer plugged in over there. So anyway, I, it was all right as it was. Um, right, now, we want the egg in. That's fair enough. I put a little bit of milk in, actually. I probably shouldn't tip it all in together, but hey-ho. And we want the flour. As I say, I have sit, sieved the flour. I have done that. I thought oh, I should have eaten that egg as well. Better try and do it now. No doubt this is the wrong way. I'd put money on it, wouldn't you? Let's see how we go. A bit more in there. 
be honest, when I've made cakes before, I usually tip the liquid into the flour. I'd have done it the other way, but oh, I don't know. I'm using, I want to use this bowl, don't I? Come on. Well, I think it looks all right to me. Let's get the rest of that mixed in. Get rid of this. There's a big load of washing up piling up over there. Hey, my hands are going to be in this water again. Um, and while we're at it, I'll mention today, we've had um, Wendy's brother come round to see us. He got a day off. So he had, well, <laughs> you've, we had breakfast patties this morning, to be honest. Done in the air fry, God, they were lovely. The eggs, you know, you know the video, that were great. And then at tea time, We've had uh, the Hunter's chicken wraps, you know, and a few French fries. Oh, God, he loved them. He says to me, it's no good. I've got to get an air fryer. So he's been measuring ours. I said, well, you know, you, whatever you want. But he reckons he's going to get one now and get this sorted out. He says, I've been looking at the videos. and He's got to join in. So I don't blame him, do you? This is all right. Anyway, that's mixed all right. Get the walnuts in. Crush nuts, Grandad. No, I just walk like this anyway. Sorry about that. It's supposed to be a joke. Right. Well, I'd say if anything, that looks a little sloppy to me. But, as I don't know what I'm doing, I'm going to go with that. Let's have a look where we are. Yeah, I've got to apologise because I just noticed again. The light keeps going out. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. And that should be nice and bright now. Well, that's what we've ended up with. Now, that looks a little bit, uh, yeah, a bit gooey, don't it, really? But I'm, I'm, I'm still going to go with it. I mean, no doubt it's the bananas, isn't it? Oh, don't pull this right over here, Graham. Nobody can see. Right, we'll just tip this in the bowl. Proper implement for doing this, you know. That's just typical Graham, isn't it? Hey, it is. Come on, get this proper scoop. I tell you, that's something. You know, when you're a little kid, when we were little kids, you never had a, a silicon scoop like that, did you? You know what I mean? You just had a wooden spoon or a, a, a type of wooden spatter. Never had anything like this. Yeah, these are great. Look at that, look. Yeah, I'm pointing this at the camera, look, I'm missing the bowl. Hey, no mind, hey. No mind. It's only a bit, look. Hey, let your mum used to let you lick that out. I wonder what this tastes like. You know, I think I had a sweeter tooth when I was a kid. Mind you, that weren't horrible. If the cake comes out like that, well, obviously not gooey, but look at that. We're about ready there, ain't we? Right, can we see the kasori? That's the main thing. Of course we can. Uh, let's get it on. Come on. There is a bait set in here, and that's 150. You know... It says 160, 40 minutes in that recipe I saw in that, that book over there. Right, so but I think we'll leave it at 150 and see how we go. But um, yeah, we need to up that to 40 minutes, I think. But I think we'll, we'll try and keep an eye on that. So we're going 150, 40 minutes. Now this actually, I bought this. Oh, look at that. Oh, I don't want to waste it, kid. Come on. This is called, uh, I think it's called a baking tin. And I bought this a little while ago because we, we we've done a few curries and different meals like that in here where you needed a bowl. And I kept seeing this and I thought, you know, something with an handle, that's got to help, can't it? So, get that in there. Oh, it's got 
gone off. Of course it's gone off. I haven't got that in. I'll tell you what, I've nearly done it again. Pre-eat, pre-eat, Graham. That's the name of the game. Let's pre-eat. Right, I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Right, the oven's preheated. Give me that back. Oh, that's lovely and hot. Let's get that in. Right, we'll press the bake there. That gives you 150 for 30 minutes. Um, well, yeah. I'll tell you what, let's do what the Kasori says. Yeah, 150, 30 minutes. Let's say I was going to do it for 40 minutes, but we'll do 30 and then we can come back and have a look. As you can see now, the Kasori's been on 150 for 30 minutes. Yeah, that's it. So it's had its 30 minutes. Right, we'll go around and have a look, see what we like. I mean, as I say, the recipe said 40 minutes and it's only had 30. But we'll have a look. Well, it looks all right, but I don't think this is going to be ready. Oh, mate, she's all wet in the middle, look. That's no good. Even I know that. Right then, back we go, bake session, er, uh, setting, 130, 30 minutes, so we've had 30, so let's just knock the time down for another 10 minutes. I'll tell you what, I think it's going to need it as well. One thing I would say in this time, we've got all the washing up done, off we go. Yeah, we'll get that 10 minutes and then have another go. Well, that's it beeping. It's only it's 40 minutes now, so... Well, it's not black on the top, but is it still wet inside? That feels damn, oh dear. Mm, just a little bit. I tell you what, I'm not happy with that. So we'll make it another ten minutes, and I'll keep an eye on it. So he said one fifteen for forty minutes. I'm still not happy, so we're going to get it another ten minutes. Right, let's have a look. So, I did what it said on the uh, Kasura. Uh, yeah, that's right, I did. one. I did 1.30. No, I didn't. I did 1.50 for 30, 30 minutes. That's great, 1.50, 30 minutes. Uh, it wasn't enough. Another five minutes. That wasn't enough, so I turned it up to 160 for another five minutes. So now it's had 40 minutes. I'll tell you what, mate, that ain't perfect. But let's, we'll see how it goes. I think the mix was too wet, I really do. Yeah. Well, I'll get it out on a tray. And we'll see. I'm not optimistic at this point. Let's see how we go. Right, see if we can get it out of the tin. It was easy to lift it out with the handle, to be honest. That, that, is, that is a good thing. I should come over here more, shouldn't I? Is that better? Must be. Now, as I say, I'm not expecting this to be perfect. I 
think Wendy was a bit doubtful at the start, to be honest, but she let me carry on. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be right. Let's play the old sandcastles. That team's up, mate. I've not got asbestos fingers like the ladies. Well, I don't know. It looks, it looks all right. I tell you what, mate. Never mind the cake. You love these crunchy bits. Oh my god. I need to cool down. I don't feel too bad, but it still could be a bit dodgy in the middle. I'm sorry now. Look, I'm crunching. Oh dear, I've got that a little too high, haven't I? It wants to be over here, doesn't it? I'll tell you what, pick it up, Graham. Come on. I mean, look. They don't look too bad. Look at all them holes in the top with me poking about, look. But, oh, what's the bottle, Graham? Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks all right. We'll see. We'll let it cool down for about 20 minutes. Then we'll have a look. Well, here comes the moment of truth. Now, if this cake's horrible and doesn't look very good, you'll never see this video, will you? That's one thing, we're not live here, mate, are we? <laughs> uh. Oh, mate, that don't feel too bad. Hey, it ain't bad. Oh, shouldn't be eating this. Oh, come on, we're in the evening again. Graham. It's no good to you, mate. Oh, it's a bit moist. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I have faith now. Sorry about that. Well, if you ever see this video and you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to make any comments, I'll try and get back to you. Oh dear, sorry. I'm trying to talk with my mouth. It's very rude. Come on, Graham. Anyway, that's all. Yeah, I thought I'd like to tag this on to the end of the uh, banana cake, banana and walnut cake experiment because, you know, we'd every intention of doing it out of the book and we looked down the list and thought, ah, if we get some walnuts, we've about got everything. We're laughing. Yeah, so I started it actually. And look, does this make, can anybody explain this to me? This is what I wanted to do, but I don't know whether you can see there, look. Where's it gone there, look? 20 grams of all-purpose flour. 20 grams. And I, I looked at it and I thought, oh, I, can't, I can't really weigh 20 grams. Eh? I thought, 20 grams? Well, I can't be right, can it? You know, if anybody's got any thoughts. But to me, I thought, you know, I mean, it looks great in the picture, but do you think there's really 20 grams of flour in there? No, it done me. So what we had to do was get a, you know, a different um, list of things to put in. It, it was different and oh, it sort of worked. But really, I wanted to use a book coat. So if anybody can explain to me, I don't know. I'm a bit baffled. I think they've printed it wrong. Well, it's now the day after making the cake. Well, <sighs> it don't look too bad. I didn't think it'd be this good to be honest, so I just cut a thin slice. Come on, mate, it's breakfast time now. I can't 
I've had my porridge, I can't eat loads of cake. Let's see what it's like. Well, I'll tell you what, it's edible. I don't know, we need the expert on this, but yeah, as I say, I put a bit of video on, so if anybody can help me, because I, I think the book was wrong and we had to use a just a, like an online one that we could find, and I thought, oh, I, I, I don't think I'm particularly happy with this. We'll see what you all think.